Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? I'm so happy that you're able to join me this morning um, for our gentle yoga class. Um, my name is Carrie Smalley from Center Circle Fitness. If you're joining us for the first time, um, we're a small local business fitness boutique here in Mayville. So I'm glad that you're joining me today for class. Um, just one um, thing that I want to talk about quick before we get started. If you're joining me today for the first time and you're wondering what's yoga all about, um, our yoga that we do here at the studio is not spiritual based. Um, this class is solely for fitness. Um, so we're going to work today on stretching and relaxation. So I'm really glad that you're taking the time to join me today. Let's go ahead and get seated on our mat. I'm going to scoot back towards mine. Find your nice, comfortable seated position. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders down, arms relaxed. You can close your eyes if you like. You can look down at your mat in front of you. And I want you to just breathe right now. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Go ahead and take your breathing a little bit deeper and slower. Be mindful of your spine. Are you sitting up nice and tall? Nice, deep, slow. Inhale. And a nice, slow, controlled exhale. Lift your chin, feel that stretch through the front of your neck. Take your chin down to your chest now, stretching the back of your neck. Look over your right shoulder. Mm -hmm. 
over your left shoulder. Bring your head back center. We're going to do some nice gentle head rolls. Really take your time here. Focus on those spots where you might feel some tightness or some tension. Our class today is really going to focus on that de-stress. Take your head roll the other direction. Good. Bring your head back center. Walk your hands forward just to where you feel comfortable and drop your head. You want to feel that low back just stretching out here. If you can take those hands a little bit farther forward, go ahead and do that. Or you can just remain in a nice relaxed position. Slowly walk yourself back up. Put your fingertips on the floor behind you. Push up through your chest. Lift your chin. Release and twist to your right. You want to think about keeping that spine nice and tall. <sighs> big breaths here. It's okay to do big mouth breaths here, releasing some of that tension out of the body and that stress. Good, let's go to the other side now. Come back center, lift your shoulders up and down, shrug them up and relax down, shrug up and relax down, shrug up and relax down, shrug up and relax down. 
Let's roll those shoulders. Oh, take some time here. I don't know about you, but mine are a little bit crackly today. Take that, roll the other direction. Good. Shake those shoulders out a little bit. It's okay if they're crackly. We're just releasing some of that stress there. Circle our wrists. Other direction. Wiggle your fingers. Shake out your hands. Go ahead and rub that skin in between each finger. A good way to reduce stress, a little bit of anxiety, lower that blood pressure a little bit, just rubbing it in between those fingers. Maintain your posture. Are you still sitting up nice and tall? Continue that nice, deep, relaxed breathing. You're ready, move on to the other hand. Good, shake those fingers out a little bit. All right, we're ready to move to our tabletop position. So I want you to get on your knees first, make sure that your your knees are directly under your hips. We're gonna put our hands down. Make sure that your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Good job. And we're gonna go cat and cow. So lift with the belly, round the back like the hissing cat. Good, now push that belly down, lift the chin, lift the tailbone, sway the back for cow. And cat. And cow. And cat. And cow. And cat. And cow. And cat, and cow. Neutral spine, go ahead and just swing those hips out a little bit. I'm getting a little bit warm, so I'm gonna take my sweater off here. Swing those hips side to side. Good, we're gonna curl our toes here, lift our hips, go to downward dog. And remember, it's okay if your downward dog doesn't look like my downward dog. Everybody's body's a little bit different. Walk your feet towards your hands, and we're going to be here in forward fold. Continue to hang there in forward fold. Nice deep breathing. Slowly roll up. Circle your arms. Come to heart center. Hold here and breathe.
Extend the arms up. Circle them wide. Clasp at the bottom. Bring them back to heart center. Extend them up. Open. Back to heart center. Extend them up. Open. Back to heart center. And up. Open. Center. Good. Take the arms down this time. Open wide to the top and back to heart center. Bring them down. Open up. Heart center. Down. Open up. Heart center. Down. Open up. Heart center. One more. Take them down. Open up. Heart center. Keep your knees soft. Swan dive forward. We're going to go to forward fold. Slowly come up. Circle your arms. Come to heart center. You keep your knees a little bit bent. We're not going into full chair pose here, but we're going to keep them bent a little bit. And we're going to bring your arms forward, kind of like Superman. <sighs> And we're going to stand up tall and take those arms behind us, kind of like an airplane. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And bring them forward, Superman. And take them back, lift the chest, squeeze those shoulder blades, airplane. And forward. And back. One more here. Bring them forward. And take them back. Good. Release those arms. Kind of shake them out a little bit. Let's go back to that forward fold position. Slowly roll up. Circle your arms, heart center. Good, let's step our feet to the outside edges of our mat or the side walls of our mat. Fingertips down, palms facing out. Lift with that, that breastbone, lift the chin, mountain pose. Nice deep breathing.
Good, release, bring your feet back to a normal standing position. Let's take a big breath in as we bring the arms up and big breath out as we bring them down. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Let's go to chair pose. Remember to make sure that you're pushing your butt cheeks back. You can move those toes. Not putting too much pressure forward. You want to be sitting back. And open and stand. And chair pose. And stand. And chair pose. And stand. Chair pose. Would you bring your hands to heart center now? We're going to lift the right heel and hold that chair pose. So we're getting a little bit of balance here, making our tushy work a little bit harder too. And take that down. Let's go to the left side. And down. Let's try to lift both heels now. We're going to go up and down and up and down and up and down. One more. Up and down. Good. Let's slowly go into our forward fold position. Give our legs a little bit of a break here. Feel that stretch through the back of the legs. Slowly roll up. Think about one vertebrae stacking on top of each other one. As you come up, heart center. Take your feet a little bit wider now. Let's take our left hand pressing up into the air and our right hand pressing down. So we're stretching across the body here. Deep breathing. Really good job this morning. Bring your hands back to the center. Take our left hand, our right hand up now, and our left hand down. Stretch. and bring your hands back to heart center. As we're standing here breathing, I want you to turn your toes out slightly. So we're kind of in ballet second position, but our legs are turned out here, toes are turned out, feet are wide. Put your arms out in front of you. So my palms are gonna be up, and we're gonna go here, and we're gonna take our arms just behind us Kind of lift through the chest, feel that chest stretching out, and forward. Remember, keep breathing. Nice deep breaths. Take it back, and forward, and back, and forward, and back. 
and forward. Good, we're gonna add our legs in now. As we take those arms back, we're gonna bend the legs, going straight down. Don't stick your butt back, you wanna stay down. Keep that tucked in and bring it forward. And down and forward. And down and forward. And down and forward. And down and forward. Bring your hands in. We're going to go down into that position, that squat position. We're going to take our arms out to the sides. Hold. Deep breaths. And slowly release. Bring your feet back in. Forward fold. How you doing? Are you doing good? Feels good to stretch, doesn't it? Good. Take your right foot behind you. You want to turn that foot, and we're going to come up in a warrior one pose. So my front knee is bent. I'm making sure that my knee is in line with my hip here. My back leg is straight, and my foot is turned, so I have some good stability. I'm making sure that my hips are facing forward, and my arms are going to go up here for warrior one. Good. I'm going to keep my left hand in front. I'm going to shift slightly here. We're going to go to warrior two. So take a little self check here. Are your arms straight? Are you going from fingertip to fingertip straight line? Make sure that your knee is still in line with that hip. No bowing in or bowing out. Keep it straight. Good. Straighten that front leg. We're going to go to triangle. So this is a nice modified version of triangle here. Both legs are straight. One arm up, one hand on the thigh. You want to go a little bit lower. You can go a little bit lower. Or you can go fingertip to fingertip here on the floor. Whatever works for your body, make sure that you're being gentle with yourself because this is a gentle class. Good. Bend your front knee. Come up in warrior two. And back to warrior one. Hands to heart center. Step up tall. And we're going to go swan dive right back to that forward fold. Good. We're going to step our left foot back now. Remember, turn your foot. We're going to go into that warrior one. So front knee is bent, coming right out of the hip. Hips are squared forward. Arms up. Good. Moving to warrior two. Right hand goes in front this time. Remember to watch that front knee. Check. Do a personal check here on those arms. Fingertip to fingertip. Mm -hmm. 
Good. Straighten that front leg. Remember, for modified, you can put the hand right here on the thigh. Left hand goes up. You can walk down to the shin, or you can do fingertip to fingertip here in our triangle pose. Good. Take that back to warrior two. Bend that front knee. Come forward again for warrior one. Hands to heart center. Step up tall. You're feeling good? You're doing great today. Take those arms up, big stretch, swan dive forward to forward fold. Fingertips down, step those feet back. We're going to go to downward dog. So remember to be pressing away from those hands, hips up in the air. Drop to your knees now. We're going to be back in our tabletop position. Remember to do your personal check. Are you in the right alignment? Good. Fingertips are spread. Let's go cat. And cow. And cat. And cow. And cat, and cow, and cat, and cow. Neutral spine, take your right leg out behind you, put those toes on the floor, just press into that. Let's get a really good stretch through the back of that leg, through our calf muscle, down through our Achilles, down into the bottom of our foot. Good, release that leg. Let's take the left leg back, toe into the floor, press down. And release. Good. We're going to move to seated now. We're getting down to the end of our workout here. Your legs out straight. Let's flex our feet. So pull those toes towards you and then point them down. You're sitting up nice and tall here. Flex and point and flex and point and flex and point. Go ahead and circle those ankles. Other direction. Good. We're going to sit up nice and tall, and we're going to reach forward. Now, not everybody can reach their toes, and that's okay. Go ahead and do what works for you. You might be right here. 
just lean yourself forward a little bit. You might be on the calves your, or the shins. You might be down to your ankles or you might be at your toes. Just allow your body this time to stretch. Slowly sit up. Let's bring our right knee up, just to wherever you are comfortable and you're able to sit up nice and tall. We're gonna put our right hand on the floor behind us. We're just gonna get a nice stretch here through our hip. Good, release, bring that left knee up and twist. Left hand on the floor behind you. Come back center, kind of shake those legs out a little bit. All right, we're going to move on to our back now. So go ahead and lay onto your back. Bring your knees to your chest, little rock side to side. Take your arms out to the side, palms down on the floor. Drop your knees to the right and look to the left. Bring your knees back, forward, drop them to the left, now to the right. Stretch out from fingers to toes. Okay. Go ahead and move to whatever position is most relaxing for you. Now, you can continue just laying, you can flip over onto your belly, you can move to seated. 
Um, do whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm going to come up here to seated. We're just going to breathe for the last couple of minutes here and just kind of thank our body for the work that we did today. So continue doing those nice deep breaths. Go ahead and take a couple more nice deep breaths. Start by moving your fingers and toes. Nod your head side to side. I want you to take your time and slowly sit up. Be gentle with yourself as you're slowly sitting up. I hope you enjoyed this gentle stretching workout today. I'm so glad that you joined me. Um, Roy and I are going to keep doing these workouts for you um, during our Safer at Home initiative here in Wisconsin. Um, we want you to stay healthy and active during this time. Um, exercising and working out are great ways to beat stress and anxiety and depression. So I hope that you'll continue to join us. Um, Friday, if you enjoyed this type of workout, I'll be back on Friday morning at 1030 AM and I'll be over on my YouTube channel. So you can go to Carrie Smalley and search for me on YouTube. Or if you would like a direct link, you can go to our website, centercircle.info. You'll see my picture at the top and Roy's picture will be a little bit down. So you can kind of see all the different things that we do here at our studio at Center Circle Fitness. Um, but you'll find those little icons that you can click to go right to our YouTube channels um, or to Facebook or he's on Instagram and Twitter. Um, you can find out all the things that we do or you can click directly so that you can join us for these, um, these workouts. All right. Take care, you guys. I will see you soon. Have a great afternoon. Thank mm -hmm. you.